what are the first things that came through your mind having studied this all your life to see those NASA images? Well, they're profound in one sense, but in another sense, they're prosaic when you look at some of the UFO imagery that's been captured. I want to know how those things work, how they get from A to B to to D. And that was one thing that fascinated me about Greer's story. I encountered Steve Greer first as a journalist, spent a couple weeks working on an interview with him. I shadowed him in LA at one of his conferences he puts on from time to time. And I really thought his whole close encounters of the fifth kind thing was the missing piece in ufology. And you know, why wait for the government to tell you what's out there? <laughs> Go out and try to make contact one-on-one. -on -one. We don't need the government to do that, at least not yet anyway. So that story I wrote was about 20 pages long and I pitched it to several national magazines, including Vanity Fair. It just went nowhere. It was the mm -hmm. wrong time, early 90s. The internet was just opening up for public use. At some point, I probably could have published that story on the internet in 10 or 12 different places. Certainly, that would be the case today, but back then, that was not the case. Yeah. So I told him, I said, I've worked in public relations long enough where I could probably get you more coverage than with just one article that I submitted as wearing the journalist hat. So I did that and we did get quite a bit of coverage, including Larry King's first CNN special on, on UFOs, which was his highest rated special to date. And that was in the mid nineties. So 